Hey guys, and welcome back to BKR Travel. This is a channel where I actually haven't posted on this in quite some time because I've been so focused on my main channel, BKR Sport, and I'm always watching sporting content and sporting games and all that type of stuff that I haven't really been able to focus on providing you guys content on here. But that's gonna change as of now, because every single Friday, we're gonna be bringing out a new film review so that uh, obviously this weekend, when you choose to go and watch some cinema, you have a little bit more of an understanding of exactly what's out and what's, uh, what's looking good. You know what's looking the good? So sit back, relax, and let's talk about the new movie Greenland with Jerry Butler. I don't see Clark. Oh, uh, maybe he's still sleeping. Dad. <laughs> Some of Clark's larger fragments are now expected to enter our atmosphere. That's right. I know that you're just. What are they saying? The More of the same. Well, I bet you it's gonna make a heck of a show. Whoa! Where are they going? I don't know. One the first chunks is about to hit. Only part of it. It's going in the ocean. Two. Would you look at that? One. Wait, what is the explosion? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that like I'm professional, you know, I'm just another person who goes to the movies, enjoys it, and just wants to kind of talk about it. So when I say that guys, I do want you guys to comment down in the chat below if you have a different opinion or you have the same opinion, I would love to hear about it. But this movie, Greenland, is basically like an end of the world apocalyptic movie where Jared Butler and his wife or ex-wife, they're kind of going through separation at the time, they're kind of trying to save their family by getting to Greenland. Very similar to a plot to what 2012 was. Now, 2012 was obviously, you know, the Mayan calendar and, you know, there was buddy everything, buddy everything going on everywhere. But this one's more so about an asteroid coming to hit the Earth. And not just one asteroid, but like, well, it is one asteroid, but multiple little fragments as well, with the accumulation of being, you know, one big time one that hits at the end, obviously. Clark's largest fragment will hit in less than 24 hours. So if you want another movie to compare it to, I would probably say something like 2012, but this is more of a specific, you know, end of world situation rather than what that was where it had literally just like tsunamis and volcanoes and, and like, everything, you know, that had literally everything. Now guys, I'm obviously not going to ruin the ending for you, you know, I think we all kind of know how these movies end anyway, but I'm not going to actually vocalise it. But as I was saying, you know, basically they get from point A to point B, point B is Greenland and they're coming from wherever they are in America and there's different flights going from all over the place to get to Greenland. It's a story about them getting to this flight and then getting on that flight to Greenland and then getting in the bunker. In the midst of all this, we obviously see what's society would be like in a situation like this because as we've seen in America recently you know it doesn't need to be an end of the world apocalyptic scenario to notice that the world descends into anarchy even without something like this and to get into more of the review side of things I thought it was really good because it wasn't really it would like it was a movie about the asteroid hitting but it wasn't really about the special effects that we used there were some great special effects and it did look really good however the movie wasn't necessarily about the asteroid hitting itself it was more about the lead up to when the asteroid hits and what society is like throughout this situation it's scary you know this whole movie is intense and it's 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 scary to see what society is like when the end of the world is on the line. And that's what I enjoy about this movie so much, is the realistic expectation of if something like this did happen, and there's no there's no way to say that it's not going to happen, you know, uh, buddy, we don't know what's going on up in the air in the bloody space. It's a realistic expectation of, you know, what you would probably have to expect. So that's what I really enjoy about this movie, the actual realism of it. And I feel like the way that we know what would happen is because of what we've already seen in America this year. Like, this movie is kind of like a future teller. Oh, oh, psychic. No, it's not like a future teller, but it's like what happened in this movie we've already, already, we've already seen. Like, we've already seen it, like, in front of our eyes. So to think if there's an asteroid that's going to come and kill us all, it wouldn't be surprising to see all the looting and the, the fires burning and... and it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. In regards to the storyline itself, I have seen a few bad reviews about it, and I, I, I don't really get it. I thought the storyline was actually quite quality. I'm not going to come out here and say that this is the greatest movie of all time, but I definitely think the plot was quite good, you know? Despite getting trying to get from A to B, which is the basis of it, you know, they, they do have a lot of problems. They get separated along the way. And through those separations, you really see the different aspects of humanity. You know, the little boy, the, the wife, the, the husband. And through the separation, you actually get to see the multiple different aspects that are involved with this. When the mother gets separated from her son, which they're already separated from the husband, you know, the mother aspect 
really comes into play, the parenting. Yes, the dad not being there is a different aspect in itself, but in regards to the mother, you can really see the true emotion and the pain. I thought the acting was quite good there. And you really did feel helpless. You did feel like, well, how is how on earth, with no Wi-Fi, no, no phone service, no, no nothing, like how does she get in contact? Like, how, like the, the, the son's just been taken away. You know, and, and it's a seven-year-old boy. How are you meant to... You feel helpless. You feel helpless. You know, like, I, I feel like this movie also proves that you need a lot of luck that goes your way. It's not just about how much you actually do. You also do need a lot of luck that goes your way. But yes, as you see, the child getting driven away by two randoms, basically. You know, you're just like, well, how is she going to be reunited with her son? You feel helpless as you know that she feels helpless. Alex, Dad! Where's Dad? We'll find him. It's okay. And that's a really good part of this film is that you actually do feel in touch with the characters despite the fact you don't have too much background, like you know what his job is, you don't really know much about her at all, but you still feel connected because you can relate to it yourself. I feel like for me, the overall concept that I got from this is really helplessness. You know, really it's about the fact that situations will go wrong and really it doesn't matter how much you actually do, it can go wrong. And it probably will go wrong. You know, you may think everything's over. You may think everything's done with. And really, if you want to, you could probably cry on the side of the road, give up, you know, and just be like, oh, well, shit, I'm never going to see my son again. But, you know, you can't do that. You can't do that. And I feel like that's the, the key thing that I took away from this. Things will seem helpless. You know, things will seem like they can't be overcome. But they will be overcome. But you do still need a lot of luck to go your way, so perseverance is key. Another thing with this movie is that the acting was quite good in my opinion, you know. We all know what we're going to get with Jared Butler, he's a phenomenal actor. But I feel like everyone else did their job just as well, you know. Sometimes you can see in these kind of movies where, you know, you've got your big time actor, you've got a couple of big time actors, but then you, you kind of got like a little side cast that don't really do too much, but they, they are kind of main characters, but they're not really portraying the role greatly but they're pulled along by the big time stars and I feel like although it did get pulled along by say a Jared Butler kind of character everyone else did their job too and I really enjoyed actually the female protagonist's father in this role he actually did really well and he kind of brought it really home towards the end of that movie I swear I'm gonna get my family in a bunker I know you will sir. now everyone's fascinated by these kind of movies for the special effects because you know if we actually saw the tsunami or we actually saw the asteroid coming for us you know that'd be the last time we saw it last thing we saw ever you know that'd be the last thing we saw ever so it's really fascinating for humans to see what it would look like from an outsized perspective where we're not going to die uh, <laughs> you know what i mean and i don't mean to laugh at that in a bad way but it's like people don't want to die obviously so it's great to see kind of such a crazy phenomenon happening in front of you when you're not at threat. And that's why people go to these kind of movies because it's it's a viewpoint into something that you would never get to see and then relive afterwards. This isn't ruining anything, but the asteroid does hit. Like, dude, don't get me wrong, the asteroid does hit. The visual effects is amazing. We get to see what Sydney would have been like after it got hit. Like, we like, wow. You know, we got to see France after it got you know, Everything gets hit, obviously, and it's crazy to see, you know, what it would be like with no humans on the planet i guess that's why like i said that's why people want to watch these kind of films but like i've been saying throughout this whole time it's it's not really about the special effects in this one it's more about the realistic expectations of what happens if society knows it's the end if you are hearing this broadcast seek shelter immediately what is it what's going on if you are hearing this broadcast John, go! Hang on, Nathan! Seek shelter immediately. Seek shelter immediately. And I, <laughs> I guess the funniest part of this movie, if you can find a comedy part of it, is the different type of people you see. It's not just... It's not just people stressing out to get to safety. There are multiple aspects in play. There are other people stressing out to get to safety. You've got the people who are trying to get to their family. You've got the people who are desperate to get into the bunker. You've got people who are just lunatics looking for a way to, I don't know, kill people, rob things. I don't really understand what happened in the pharmacy. 
you know, that just, it's, I guess that's just what society is like, you know, buddy, anarchy. And then you've also got the people who just don't give a shit, you know? Like, there was, there's a part, oh, and they, they give it, they don't, they don't give a shit. And then there's also the people who are obviously praying at church. And that was a really cool thing to see that obviously people went to the church. But just before that scene, we saw a bunch of people were just partying on top of a rooftop. And when the, one of the asteroids hit the Earth, like one of the smaller ones, it is like, yeah, take that! It's just like, uh, what? Excuse me? So let's give a big house review and I'll give it a three and a half star. Nothing absolutely extraordinary, nothing shithouse, you know? A movie that I did really enjoy watching and uh, it did encapsulate me. So I think it was quite good. I think it's something that you should see. And you know, it's pretty good on the special effects. But just for warning guys, it is a very intense film. You know, you will feel claustrophobic at times really and uh and like i said helplessness so uh no it's a really good film and i definitely think that you should go and see it but that's gonna do us for this review guys i'm gonna be back next friday obviously we're gonna be doing this every single friday so if you haven't subscribed yet go down there hit that subscribe button chuck that little notification bell on ding a ling a ling so you get a notification every single time we upload appreciate you as always thanks for watching catch you later.